Good afternoon. I want to thank everybody for being here today, especially on such short notice. It's good to see a lot of familiar faces. We're here today to confirm uh, the news you received this morning that I've decided to make this season my last as a NASCAR Cup driver. The response just in the last six hours from teammates, uh, colleagues, and friends, and fans has been incredibly overwhelming. So before I go any further, I just want to thank everybody for making me feel pretty incredible today. Uh, you're wondering why I reached this decision. It's really simple. I just wanted the opportunity to go out on my own terms. I wanted to honor my commitment to Rick, to my sponsors, uh, to my team, and to the fans. I'll admit that having influence over my exit only became meaningful uh, when it started to seem most unlikely. As you know, I missed a few races last year, and during that time I had to face the realization that my driving career may have already ended without me as so much getting a vote at the table. Of course, in life we're not promised a vote, and that's especially true in racing. But during my rehab, I was given something else that I wasn't accustomed to, and that was time. Time to understand what's important to me. Time to realize the incredible support system I have in my wife, my team, and my doctors, and time to work like hell to wrestle back some semblance of say-so in this whole matter. And so that became my motivation, the opportunity to stand here at this podium to announce my choice rather than some fate that was decided for me. In that regard, the race car wasn't my goal. It was merely the vehicle that got me here today. Now, planning my exit this way gives me the chance to publicly thank those who made the last 18 years possible. First and foremost, uh, Rick Hendrick. Without a shadow of a doubt, I think the toughest thing about this decision was having to tell you. I just didn't want to disappoint you. You mean so much to me. And so on March 29th, I drove over and had the conversation with him and his response. He told me he loved me. Becoming a bigger part of your life has changed mine forever. You gave me guidance and direction that will reward me for as long as I live. My wife, Amy, most of you have been around long enough to know what I was like before I met Amy. Not a day goes by that someone doesn't remind me of the incredible positive impact she's had on me. Through thick and thin, Amy's support and encouragement has been constant. The rehab that I spoke of earlier, she went through it too. The only difference is she didn't have to, but she did. There were no days off. There were no hours off. There were no minutes off. There was just Amy and me. Without her help in those days of recovery, I wouldn't have been able to return to the track for this season. The most difficult thing, or the second most difficult thing about this decision was telling my brothers, Greg Ives and the guys on my 88 team, it's a privilege to race with this group. Greg is one of the most talented, yet humble guys in the garage. We are very close, and I appreciate the sacrifices that he and his family have made for the good of our team. From my road crew to the pit crew to all the people in the 4888 shop, I'm a better driver and a better person from my time with you guys. You've helped me mature and grow well beyond the racetrack. We love to work together, and I look forward to every single trip we have left on the schedule this season. Kelly Earnhardt Miller, I think if I were to sum up Kelly's life in one word, it'd be sacrifice. Y'all know the stories, and they're all true. She dropped out of one school to enroll in military school where I was because she was worried about me. She came to work for me even though it meant she'd have to take a massive pay cut, but she knew that I needed her. She didn't think twice about it. She made it her life mission to have my back. I'm telling you today, Kelly, how much I appreciate that. Brenda Jackson, my mother, she loves me through my good races and my bad races. But what makes her uniquely my own is she definitely is going to tell me when it was a bad race. Everybody deserves to have someone in their life that you never have to wonder. And with my mother, I never have to wonder. Uh, to my father, Dale Earnhardt, I would have not been a race car driver 
if it not for him, he believed in me. It might have taken a little uh, encouragement from Tony Uri Sr., Sr., but eventually Dad came around. I appreciate my father, everything he put into my career, uh, and all the guys on the old 80 AC Delco team who gave me a shot. To all the team members and co-workers that I've worked with, I've only driven for two teams in my career. From DEI to Hendrick Motorsports, I was blessed to work with the most talented group of mechanics, body men, chassis builders, engine builders, and so on. As I mature personally, as I matured personally, the bonds I formulated with my team became so very important to me. They weren't just co-workers, they were friends. We cared for each other. We could fight like brothers, which me and Tony Jr. so often did. But we need, but they needed, but I needed them, and I so badly wanted them to need me. I miss that camaraderie, and I'll miss it for the rest of my life. But the friendships that I've made will live beyond the time it was spent in the garage together. To my fans, uh, one thing that has made this career the incredible ride that it's been is Junior Nation. The fan support that I received straight out of the gate was in large part because of my famous last name. But throughout the ups and downs, it occurred to me that the fans that stuck it out and the new ones that joined us, uh, they were there because of the person I was and not who they wanted me to be. By the end of my career, thanks in large part to social media, I've really gained a new appreciation for their dedication, their enthusiasm when we succeed, and their encouragement when we feel, fall short of our goals. I don't think that anything in my professional career has meant more to me than the treatment that I've received from track to track by the fans that so dearly love our sport. I also want to thank NASCAR for giving me and a whole lot of other fortunate people a place to race. I've never taken that for granted. Thanks to the France family for your support and thank you to Mike Hilton who has given me tons of personal advice. He's always shot me straight and he's been a tremendous role model for me. The sport is in a great place with incredible, exciting young talent emerging as we speak. I look forward to seeing what the future and current stars in the sport can accomplish in the years to come. In closing, I am eager to explore new opportunities. I don't see myself really detaching from NASCAR. My, my intention is still to be involved in the sport on some level. In fact, uh, I still have two Xfinity races to run for Junior Motorsports in 2018. So even after this season is over, you've not seen the last of me on the racetrack. But more than that, I want to be a part of the future of this sport for many, many years to come. Thank you very much.